What a better theme to go forward with kids telling, look wide, start where you are, use what you have, do what you can. Wow. So kids, please share with us. Deepness, what are you doing? What, what can you share with us? in this evening, morning, night, whatever time it is for our participants. Okay, the floor is with you. Thank you for being with us and honor, an honor receiving you. Thank you very much. Um, let me also take this opportunity to congratulate um, Naomi. She's doing such an amazing um, job, responsibility. I really salute you, I respect you. And um, I really hope that um, you shouldn't just keep it for your country. Um, I believe the girls in Uganda would have to have that opportunity as well. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, back to my side, uh, my names are Gids Bambaga. I'm a Ugandan by nationality. And um, for a living, I grow coffee at the slopes of Mount Elgon which is in the eastern part of Uganda, and we grow Arabica coffee at the altitude of about 1,900 meters to 2,200 meters. So we are able to grow specialty coffee. And uh, I'm a scout, I'm a scout leader, I'm a visionary, and scouting has really introduced me to a lot of humanitarian activities, which today I want to share with the world. And uh, I'm so humbled by uh, Liné for arranging to have me on this worldwide platform. And I hope by the end of my session, um, a lot of you people here would be having a piece of uh, Uganda, especially what the Mass Scouts are doing. I, I belong to the World Scouts organization. And um, in Uganda, I subscribe to the Uganda Scouts Association. We are one of the biggest um, youth movements in the world. And we do scouting like other countries are doing scouting. And uh, this summer I was privileged to go to do scouting in the Schengen areas where I was telling stories and uh, sharing our projects with lots and lots of scouts from all over the world. I've been doing this for the last um, nine years. And for me, I say that uh, if very many kids from across the world can't come to Uganda because of different challenges, or because of their age, I can always take Uganda to these kids. And I was lucky to share my story to thousands and thousands of young people in Denmark, in Finland, and in Sweden. Scouting in Uganda is just like scouting in other countries, but we've been going much far or much more into community. And when I say community, we've been looking at what is stopping the young people from doing scouting. Because scouting is supposed to be fun. Scouting is supposed to be energetic. Scouting is community. And these kids are coming from the communities. And um, as scouts, being from Uganda, we've been facing quite a number of challenges, which I and my scout group, the Mass Scouts, have been trying to tackle, have been trying to address to make sure that the young kids going to different uh, schools and not those unable to go to school because of different challenges can also have proper services, which my government may not be able to offer to communities, but as scouts, we can't step back and just look, but we rather take action we rather go out to our communities to make a change. And one of the projects that we've been doing has been uh, Safe Water. Um, it has been Scouts for Safe Water, where we've been advocating for clean and safe drinking water. In Uganda, you can't drink water from any source. 
you either boil it, treat it, or you have to filter it. And very many young people can't have access to this. I was growing up going to my primary school and we would drink from either a pond or a river, not even having a chance to drink from a well or a stream because it was so competitive where the older men go and fetch water cups that the women and the children can't have easy access to such wells. So what they do is to end up drinking unsafe water. And during my journeys around the world, I came about different ideas of how I can make a world a better place. And one of them has been a provision of water filters for schools, hospitals, and communal places like churches and mosques. And we've been doing this since 2016, where we have been educating people about WASH, and this is uh, water and sanitation health. And we've, uh, we have also been setting up wells where communities can go and fetch water. These two key projects have really managed to save lots of lives. And as I speak now, I think a tune of 12,000 children are drinking clean and safe water from the water filters we have donated. And also at least 6,000 people are drinking from the wells that the Mass Scouts have set up. Now these wells, we dig them up by hand. We normally hire some local um, people and then the Scouts can do the hard labor until the well is dug. I have lots of such information, which I will share later in the chat room here. I will share a link, which I encourage you to go and see on our Facebook um, platform. We normally share all these stories. I couldn't come up with a slideshow because I thought that maybe um, in your free time, you could find this and uh, just like the page and follow. And another project has been the Scouts Restore site, where we try to reach out to schools and worship places like mosques and uh, churches and schools. And we donate um, these reading glasses. You will find that just a pair of reading glass can be life-changing to a whole family. If you have a pair of reading glass to one grandparent is able to read her Bible. She is able to read her Quran. She is able to read, to read a prescription or to help with homework to the little ones. In Uganda, we have very many young children staying with their grandparents because the, uh, their fathers and mothers have been victims to war or to HIV all the men have moved to cities and they've left the grandchildren, uh, their children to their, uh, to their parents. So because we can't give food to every family, we thought that we can open a new chapter to this elderly person, or we can help this ch child in class so that they can read. So just a pair of glasses is one Thing that we mass scouts have been thinking that it can be a game changer in somebody's life. If you're using a pair of glass, just imagine, envision you not being able to have it for one week. Like the whole world is shut on you. So it's always smiles that we leave behind when these people can read again, when these people can go back to their daily um, jobs again. You find that very many Elderly people, they have their lands, their gardens, but because they don't have sight, they can't take care of their animals. So that's one project we've been doing. We've also been supporting children in different capacities where we hold Christmas parties every day, every year um, around December. And the last one, we hosted about 400 children. And many of these children are coming from families who don't expect any warm meal during Christmas. So we have cake, we have a hot meal for each child, 
we share presents. And these presents sometimes it looks strange, but we share maybe textbooks, pencils, school bags, something which can keep them going. And not forgetting, we do a lot of cake for them. So we also have a girls project, uh, which we call Go Ever Ambitious Girls Lead Effectively in Society. So the female scout leaders are doing something with the girls where we skill them with so many handcraft ideas. And this also helps other young male uh, scouts. For example, where we make uh, these armbands, uh, Lynn must be having an idea about them. They are made out of recycled material, plastic and fishnets. So we help these girls to be as independent as possible. And another craft has been um, like this bottle. We do a lot of recycling. So we tend to equip these girls to be self-sufficient. If they want to buy some Vaseline and then they don't have to look around or they don't have to engage themselves in activities which would cost their lives. We also do a lot of environmental projects. Uh, uh, and uh, we go environment, we put trees, we do a lot of community work. And uh, this is all done in accordance to our um, scout law which is duty to God, duty to self, and duty to others. And um, we've also been having a project about uh, the scouts against malaria, where we have been fighting malaria for quite a long time. Personally, I have been having malaria most of my school days. And it is sad that even today, the Ugandan children, especially those below the age of five years, are having a lot of malaria and expecting uh, pregnant mothers. Now, the statistics I've been reading around that, indeed, if you look at malaria itself, it's one of normal for a region like Uganda, that it's kind of part of us, yet it can be avoided. And as scouts, we've been reaching out to communities, telling them how they can avoid um, this disease, telling them how they can stay safe from this disease. And also we've been doing a lot of mosquito nets donations. Now we are talking about so many donations and donations, and Master Scouts has been able to achieve all this because we are hands-on. We use what we have in the means available to us. Like when we make a lot of items out of recycled material, and we've been having these items out to our Scout friends from all over the world, where we make fundraisers, and lots of Scouts have not only come down to donate towards our causes, but they've also come down to Uganda. And interestingly, the highest number of scouts have been coming from Denmark. So far, we've hosted about 52 Danish scouts. And from across the world, I think we've hosted over 70 international scouts who have come to offer their time, especially their young people. And uh, they've offered their time those who think they are not able to offer any financial support, they've come to teach a sport. They've come to en empower a young girl here. They've come to help with the brick making because we are also building a pre and primary school. So you will realize that no one is so small to make a difference. And I believe that I'm on this platform to share my story and to also challenge all you here to think of more and more ideas of making the world a better place. Thank you so very much for your time. And I look forward to any questions, ideas, and suggestions. Thank you. <laughs>